Hello guys, today I will have a quick reminder for you. If you have an eloquent model that is related with files physically stored on your server or Amazon S3 or wherever, if you delete the model, don't forget to delete the file itself. For example, here's a project we're creating a CRM for filament. And if we add a document here, I can upload a file, for example, a screenshot with a comment code snippet, for example, and I save that for a customer. In our database, it's a table called documents. So if we refresh, we have this document for the customer ID with file path with comments. And that file is stored in local storage. So if we browse around, we have storage app, public, and then this file. And then you see the code that I want to emphasize. So if I delete the file here in the documents, here we have filament repeater field on saving of that customer, save changes, as you can see in the PHP storm, that file is gone. It has been physically deleted. So this is one of the way of doing that. In the model, this is eloquent model, you have booted and then self deleting and then do whatever in case of document being deleted. There are two actually possible methods here, self deleting and self deleted. You can probably guess what they mean. So this would be fired before deleting the record or after deleting the record. I'm not entirely sure what is better, what should happen first. In this case, we delete the file and then delete the record, but maybe it's more appropriate to have self deleted. So when the record is deleted successfully, if there are no eloquent errors or anything, only then delete the file. So yeah, I'm talking myself into it. It's deleted is better. And as I said, it's only one way of doing that. You probably have seen another way of doing that, which is observers. It's actually the same thing. The same observer just happened to be inside of the model as an event of self deleted, but you can do PHP artisan make observer document observer create a method called deleted, then register observer in the service provider and do the same thing. But lately I became a fan of doing that inside of the model. If it's a quick operation, just for simplicity of not navigating through multiple files to find what is happening. So yeah, multiple ways of doing that, but just as a reminder that do not forget to delete the stored files on the server if you don't need them anymore. And actually recently I had a video about file storage in general, about main things you need to know. So I will link that one in the description below if you want to learn more about storage disk, what is public and stuff like that. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.